Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel, The Fiona. Today we are going to be playing a super super cosy little game called Little Witch in the Woods. I've heard so many good things about this game, although I haven't heard a lot of things about these this game. I feel like it's not got the hype it possibly deserves yet, so I'm very excited to be doing a video on this. And yeah, let's just jump right in. I wonder where the carrot was. You're still thinking about that? We found everything except the carrot. I think it's good that we never found the carrot. <laughs> there was something off about that legendary carrot soup recipe. I just realized we never checked the men's restroom. Yes, there are just some lines you don't cross. We searched the whole school, save for that place, but we never found the carrot. That means the carrot was in the men's restroom. A carrot in the men's restroom? What an odd sense of humor. I should write Jenny a letter asking her to look through the men's restroom. Can't you ask Will instead? It's the men's restroom after all. Nope, that coward finds it, he'll take it to the teacher bawling like before. Keep in mind that if it weren't for Will, you'd be in jail right now. What is going on with Ellie? Oh, six feet under. Okay, Ellie's been through some stuff, guys. Ugh, I'm so bored. It's a flashback. Flashbacks are supposed to be boring. <laughs> okay, I really like sort of that uh, sense of awareness of the game. I see why no one else wants to ride this god awful train. It's boring enough to drive anyone insane. That looks like a really super cozy train to me personally, but hey. Hey, a ticket for this train costs 500 pies and it's stop the witch's house in Hylian where all roads lead to. Your second place at the school for witches. Whatever, I don't care about any of that. How am I second place anyway? I sneaked into the forbidden, ro forbidden room twice, three times. I even looked through the forbidden books in the hidden library in the school basement. Sounds like you're a bad student. <laughs> I still remember that horned habit was that that was as big as a house. No wonder Will started crying. So how did I manage second place? I simply didn't want to lose. Cut it out and sit quietly. This is a train only for those who want to succeed. The witch's house might be dark and damp, but it's only three years of your life. Fine, fine, enough with the lecture. As a matter of fact, I'm disturbed with the thought of taking off my shoes when I get off the train. I think the fact that her witch's hat is like her agony aunt slash advice giver is so, so cute. Like that's just adorable to me. Shoes for what? I wonder what kind of trouble you'll get into when we arrive. I won't, I won't fool around in the moment I get there. I didn't know you had self-awareness. Okay, this hat is speaking the truth. Don't you know about the terrible city of rules that is Hylian? The first thing to do is take your shoes off as soon as you get off the train. This is my first time hearing something like that. I hear, I heard that Jenny's older sister was wearing strappy boots when she first arrived at Hylian. I think Jenny's older sister sounds like a fashionista. So she almost couldn't get off because she had to unstrap them completely. See, mom bought me new shoes as well. Didn't Aria just mean to encourage you? No, dad also did say that comfortable boots would be better. That's strange. It's true, I'll also ask other people if you don't believe me. Okay, keyword gained, lace up boots. It's a pain to wear lace up boots if you're boarding the train to Hylian. Okay, so. Okay, I see the controls and interact is with Z. The food was really delicious though. Your face was bright only when you were eating after getting on the train. The omelette that was overflowing with cheese and crab meat as soon as it was cut. The pink salmon steak seasoned with fresh lemon scented kiwi sauce. Even the slightly frozen strawberries and peach sorbet with whipped cream. Without this meal, I would have jumped off the train sooner. Okay, Ellie sounds like a woman after my own heart. It's definitely different from the food you buy at the store at the school for witches. I ate that to collect the Great Witch series cards. I got scolded because I was caught keeping the card and throwing away the bread. Don't do that again in Hylian. I'll definitely try the new Bikula cupcakes there. That's if I get to Hylian before I get bored to death. Okay, Ellie, you might be a little dramatic, sweetheart. Okay, hello, Mr. Bartender. <laughs> hey, want a drink? No, I don't drink alcohol. Do you have any tea? Of course. <laughs> That's so cute! Then I'll have a cup of that. The tea has alcohol though, is that okay? 
<laughs> when you're in Ireland. But then that's just alcohol. Alcohol with tea. Potato, potato. Then can I ask you a question instead of a drink? Ooh, ooh. Anytime. Keyword conversations. You can initiate conversations using the keywords at your disposal. Okay. I'm going to be an apprentice at the, high, at the witch's house in Hylian. After working as an apprentice for three years, I will be able to graduate from the school for witches. Wow, Hylian, huh? That's a right proper place, isn't it? So they say, that's probably why you got the train ticket for free. You must be someone special. I don't really care about that kind of thing though. Come on, I'm sure you do. Like, wouldn't like any of us want to be like a witch going for witch apprenticeness training? Like, I feel like we would all definitely care about that, you know? <laughs> that kind of thing is what's important at the end of the day. Exactly. It's best to just suck it up. You'll be glad you did later down the road, you know? Yeah, later. Something on your mind? Hmm. Oh, lace-up boots. Can I take a look at your shoes? My shoes? What for? From what I've heard, you have to take your shoes off before you step foot into Hylian Station. You work at the train, so you know what I'm work talking about, right? Oh, that story. Absolutely. Plenty of confused passengers who were all dressed up for Hylian. If you're wearing shoes of that sort, I'd advise you to untie them in advance. Oh, ye who reacheth Hylian, look first upon thy shoes. Or so that's how the saying goes. See, Virgil, I was right. Her hat's called Virgil. That's so cute. The preppy boots mom gave me as a present tell me just as much. Those are some nice boots, right? My mum bought them for me when she found out I was gradu graduating magna cum laude. Sure is amazing you're graduating magna cum laude despite your antics. You gonna keep up with that attitude of yours, Virgil? Haha, <laughs> 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 hearing the two of you speak, I have a feeling boredom won't be an issue. Nope, it's so boring. Aren't you bored, Mr. Bartender? I've gotten used to it, but it's certainly gotten less boring thanks to you and your hat. You've been listening? Other guests would have heard about your arson at the School of Witches by now. I didn't set it on fire. Really? Uh, sure, there was a fire, but that was because I shook a potion five times and made it explode. Potions must be shaken three times only. Even a non-witch like me knows that. Exactly! How can you not try shaking it four times having heard that? Ellie, no! <laughs> That's... <laughs> no! <laughs> but you said you shook it five times. Nothing happened on the fourth time, so I shook it once more. Okay, Ellie, you're... Yeah, an inquisitive mind is a nice way of putting that. You've already got the makings of a fine witch. Thanks for the praise. I don't think he was praising you, says Virgil. <laughs> I should be on my way then. All right, have a fun trip. You can't act like a country bumpkin once you're in the city. Got it? You're not going to ask just one person, are you? Why? One is never enough, you know? Even the greatest detectives never reach a conclusion based on a single piece of ed evidence. Hmm, you have a point. Okay, I can view the notes to see the keywords I have. Okay, so we've talked to the bartender. We should probably talk to the trainee dude and there's someone else that we can, you know, possibly talk to. Okay. Oh, you need to talk to this person. He was on the thing. Train crew. Tray up ahead is the engine room. Lace up boots. We don't check the passenger's outfit. Even if you don't check, it's inconvenient to get off if you wear strappy boots. There are so many different types of clothing that cause discomfort, I can't define them all. Then what about having a hard time taking off your shoes when you get off? Delays occur once in a while due to their shoes, but again, it's not regulated. I guess there's no fine. Isn't it a matter of harming social reputation rather than the fine? Is that so? Up ahead is the engine room, he says. Okay. What about you, ordinary passenger? Oh, he's uh, interesting looking. Roy. Am I disturbing you? Negative. What's the issue? Roy is a man of few words, I feel like. I want to ask you about something. You're on your way to Hylian, right? Correct. Um... What's the matter? Oh, it's just that you have a very blunt way of speaking. That's just someone from Northern England. That's like, Ellie, you need to get used to that. <laughs> oh my, old habits die hard, especially when one is deep in thought. You sound like the janitor from my school. Well, I used to be a soldier. So what brings you here? Speak. <laughs> you live in Hylian? Correct, I own a flower shop there. Yeah, you can see his little flowery little flower thing. 
Whoa. Chit chat. Since I'm not much of a talker, I don't have anything to say in particular. Can I talk to you about the lace-up boots? What? You've been staring at my feet for a while. Is there some kind of problem? Oh, I was going to ask anyway. Isn't it uncomfortable to wear such strappy boots? Take some time to put them on and take them off, but I'm used to it. Then it would be hard for you when you arrive at Hylian. What? What are you talking about? I mean, you have to take your shoes off when you get off. What? 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 Huh? Oh, you were kidding. I'm sorry. I'm rather dull when it comes to things like this. Jenny! Mr. Bartender! The mystery has been solved. <laughs> Did I make some kind of mistake? No, no. I just realized that I was deceived. Jenny and the bartender sound like they're just fun people, though. That's like, that's like a harmless prank, you know? I don't like pranks which, like, actually hurt people, but that's just kind of funny. Come to think of it, I remember now. It's a joke to make fun of people who visit Hylian for the first time. Stop, you don't have to kill me twice by giving that much detail. I'm sorry. Are you holding back laughter? No, I'm not. He's trying so hard to be considerate of you. Don't ask twice. Virgil, I hate you even more now. You don't need to be too upset. When I went there for the first time in the past, I was also tricked by a colleague and took them off. That doesn't comfort me at all. Elliot should comfort you. I'm sorry. How do you feel? Why are you asking me that? Your molars might fall out. Relax a bit and tell me. <laughs> Can't believe Jenny deceived me. There's a reason why she's your friend. Exactly. Do you Are you even friends with someone if they don't, like, absolutely take the piss out of you? <laughs> now go back to your seat quietly and wait until we've arrived. We still have three more days to go. Three more days? That's as terrible as the smell of spotted shit. Take mushrooms. This is torture. Stare out of the window if you're so bored. Did you not bring a book, Ellie? Like, this is in incomprehensible to me. I always have like, a, like my Kindle and at least another physical book with me when I'm traveling. <laughs> Look outside. Look at that mountain. It must be hiding a cave with strange pillars, statues, and a giant door. Sounds like the prologue to a story where you awaken a terrible demon. Yeah, it does sound like something from like The Witcher or something. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Virgil, shut up and look out the window at the summit of the mountain. There's a gigantic shining tree at the top. A gigantic shining tree. Why is it shining? Does it have luminous flowers? It must be beautiful up close. Give it up. This train won't stop for two days. Ugh, I want to get out now. I hope we crash. <laughs> why is Ellie me though? Like, why is like her attitude just so poor? fat chance of that happening so just stay bored after all you signed up for three years of even more boredom aren't there any crooker fans nearby nope what about boa constrictors this isn't a jungle train robbers this isn't the wild west it's a healing game remember oh a boa constrictor the correct line is what's going on there's no station here why are we stopping i'm not sure maybe there's something wrong with the train I doubt it's a boa constrictor though. I don't care if it's not a boa constrictor. Please just say there's not some massively critical issue. Please, please. But then how are you gonna get to Hylian? Please. <laughs> Why does she want, like I understand that she's bored, but like how are you gonna get to the place you need to go if you want the train to crash? We apologize for the inconvenience. A critical issue perhaps? The train cannot continue its journey due to a critical issue. Yes. <laughs> Attention, the train will stop until tomorrow morning and the departure time, can we go outside, will likely be announced tomorrow. We will depart immediately if possible. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. In the meantime, please avoid wandering too far from the train. Let's go. I'm not sure if you remember, but of course I remember the shining tree is at the peak. No, not that. We have to get back by tomorrow morning. Then we should get going. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's saved. It's a hill. It won't be easy to climb. Look over there, there are vines hanging on the hill. I'll be able to climb that much. That's bad news. Oh, up we go. It's a secret passageway, Virgil. I don't think it's a secret or a passageway. I bet there's a path beyond here. Great, it's time to explore. Please don't use that word, explore. That word gives me anxiety, no thanks to your mother. A sprint button to move faster than normal. 
Oh, the music, it's gorgeous. I have wood. Yay, I have wood. Oh, look at these little plants. What did that do? It's super cute, but what did it do? Wait, can I have the apple? Crown apple. Let's keep going up, I guess. A mountain! That's a bad thing, right? I always hated mountains. My leather gets worn out from all the wind. Oh, the music is so good. Ah, okay, we have a little map. What's this little butterfly? Wait, I see, I see a key. Why are there so many things blocking the path? This must be a forest with many secrets. What's this? It looks like a barrier made with a witch pattern. Witch pattern? Is there a witch here? There was, or do you know how it works? School hammered it into my head. Shouldn't be an issue as long as it's drawn well. Oh. <gasps> we made it to the tree. It's the gigantic shining tree, the one we saw from the train. It's a bit of grape tea tree. I don't think the tree is the one that's shining. Check this out, Virgil. There are tons of butterflies on it. You're right, the butterflies seem to be glowing. There's a blue moon butterflies. The butterflies give off a subtle moonlight. The light from these butterflies has actual power of actual moonlight. That's why strange things always happen around these butterflies. Aren't they beautiful? A giant tree tea tree with butterflies glowing in the moonlight. Yeah, this is my British dream. This is a British dream, a tea tree with glowing butterflies? Yes. It's not just beautiful, it's an extremely fascinating sight to behold. Isn't this a pretty magnificent discovery? Did you know that those two are actually rare creatures? What? So what about it? The fact that those two are together is amazing. What about those two being together? They're usually raised together artificially to get moonflower and lucerine or two. It's uncommon for them to be together naturally like this. Um, anyway, we did find something, right? I guess so. I'll have to write a letter to the school later. Let's look around a bit more. Fill up the codex and all, right? Just don't be late. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Okay, let's go back the way we came up. There might be other strange things. This tree is so pretty. Don't think I'll get a wink of sleep on the train. I wonder if there's anywhere I can sleep for tonight. What about the ground? The dirt and rocks should make for a nice bed. That's not funny, Virgil. Look, the blue moon butterfly we saw at the peak is here too. You might as well collect some for study purposes. You think I could just sneak up and grab it? Wait, do you remember what Mr. Gravia said? Death lives under the bed? No, not that. Draw it before you touch it. That's right. This is so adorable. <laughs> I now have a butterfly in it. A butterfly that emits a soft blue glow from absorbing moonlight. Sensitive to sound, but will not easily go away unless it feels especially threatened. Habitat and time of appearance. Okay. Tools used for collecting and collectibles that can be acquired. How to make collecting easier and exit. We have a maple herb. Oh, this is just so witchy and cute. I don't even want to stop playing, even though I know I have to cut this video short at some point. Okay, you can grab it with your hands. Okay, a red herb that roots itself in cliffs, also called coward's grass because children pick the herb as a show of bravery. Unlike plants that grow in soil, its roots are spread out wide, so try to pull it while shaking it at an angle instead of pulling it straight up. Okay, so I think unless 
I want this video to be like literally half an hour long and we're at 25 minutes of filming. I'm gonna have to explore a little bit more probably off camera and start the next episode of this series. If you want it to be a series, like it and comment that because I'm hoping to do a few more videos of this because it's super cute. Um, yeah, I will have to record the next video of the series once we're back on the train, so to speak, uh, so we can move on with the story a little bit. Um, yeah, <laughs> I might also stream this game depending on if this video does well overnight, then tomorrow's stream will maybe be on this. Um, yeah, we'll just sort of take it spontaneously and see how it goes. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!